Well, hello, Stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper coming to you from Schravazonde, the Netherlands. My name is Jackie van der Sarboe, and I am lucky enough to be married to an amazing Dutchman. So I am a Canadian demonstrator living in the Netherlands, which also allows me to be a Dutch demonstrator, which means I can sell to all markets in Europe, which is really, really kind of fun. Anyway, the purpose of my Wednesday stamping through my stash video is to ink up every single stamp in the stamp set so you can see what it looks like. And usually I pick a stamp set that has not yet seen ink, but this time I'm doing it in reverse. I've already done a video with this card on Monday and on Tuesday. Both are already on YouTube. And now I'm finally using all the stamps. So usually I do it in the other order, but that's just the way it worked out this week. And at the end, I'm going to show you another really fun card. And I'm going to show you the, May, um, the last paper pumpkin from March. Just in case you're not familiar with Paper Pumpkin, and I'm sorry for the Europeans, it's not available in Europe, it's only available in North America. But let's take a look. Here is this gorgeous stamp set called Places in the Heart. And I love it because of the beautiful images, but I also love it for the nice sayings. There are places in your heart you didn't even know exist until you have a child. When a child is born, so is a mother, so happy for you. And may all the love you gave to me come back to you on your special day. So, very nice. And now we're going to ink them up. And I am not going to use the Stamparatus. If you've been watching me do my stamping through my stash, I've always used the Stamparatus because I love that tool. But it's no longer available. So, my advice to you is to make sure that you get your re-inkers. And you know what? It's free shipping today. Wednesday, April 19th. Is free shipping so get every re-inker that you don't have go through your inventory and make sure that you have all the re-inkers to go with your ink pad because the ink re-inkers are also going up in price and oh whoa, whoa, there goes my light that was not good sorry about that goodness gracious it's a super cheapy light I really do have to invest in better equipment you never know what you're gonna get when you follow my videos okay so you do see ink pad and then a one two three four, five second press. And then you've got that gorgeous image. Now, to clean your stamps, you either are going to use a Simply Chamois or a Stampin' Scrub. So this, your chamois will come light purple, but after a while it looks like this. I put it in a clear stamp case and then um, when it gets dirty, so every, every day for me, I rinse it off and squeeze it till it runs clear. So now we have this one. Oh, the other trick I have for you is to stamp on your um, silicone mat. It kind of holds the paper in place so it doesn't slide around. And it gives you just that little bit of squish you need for a crisper image. Because if you use the, um, we have a, another thing, a foam. I forget even, I even forget what it's called. I used to use it all the time. But if you use that with rubber stamps, you could get a line. So this seems to work much better. So again, one, two, three four, five. And so, so far so good. These are beautiful images. And now we're going to do the, the sayings. Let's have a look. I think they'll all fit on this block. Let's find out. So just lay it down. Oh, that's upside down. And I look on the other side and that T I think will be okay, but it's almost to the edge. We'll see. If not, I should have used a bigger block. We're about to find out. You can also do it this way. Tap. You can then see that whether or not your stamp is evenly inked. So one, two, three, four, five, straight up and down. And you know what? That worked out just fine. So, so far so good without the stamp apparatus. But when you're using rubber stamps, there's no do-over if your stamp, if your um, ink pad isn't juicy enough. So do make sure you re-ink your, all your ink pads. So one, two, three, four, five. Looking good. So far my batting average is good. Okay, the last one, the last saying is just so happy for you, which you can use for all kinds of things. One, two, three, four, five. And then the last one is a little, oh, you know what? There's one more. Almost forgot about it. This one says, when a child is born, so is a mother. One, two, three, four, five. And then the last stamp is a little dotty one that you would use for backgrounds for distressing. So 
like here and then see that's that's normal and then if you stamp off see how that looks it gives a very subtle look for the dots so that's a great stamp this is a great for when you do collage stamping and you want to fill in those little spots it's great really nice now I think if you're counting I probably used the word great a couple too many times all right so now I'm going to show you a few cards that I've made with this set so here are all the sayings isn't it nice it's a beautiful beautiful set it's great for coloring so I made this card and I made this one. And now I did have an extra one of these panels sitting that I had used for my video. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to cut it out. So I cut it out. Here it is. And I thought, I want to put that in a window of some sort. And what did I come up with? Take a look at this. Now, guess where that is from? Any ideas? While you're thinking about it, I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this. Now you'll see that this is the back side. It's kind of a watercolor -y look, isn't it? So your blends do go through. So when you're using your blends, make sure you do it on some grid paper or, you know, some other such thing or on the silicone mat, just in case you don't want to wreck a good table or a granite countertop or something. So I'm putting that right here. And now it looks like they're sitting in the windowsill looking outside. How cool is that? I love it. Now, where did it come from? It came from the March Paper Pumpkin. And I'm having an event with this Paper Pumpkin on Saturday with Dutch demonstrators. It's not available in Europe. So here we have, when you open the box, there's it comes with instructions. And then it comes with an ink spot. And if you subscribe, your first box also comes with a block. But I've been subscribing for a while. So... This is the bonus card that I made with the bonus set. It, it, because it's March, every single March, let's see. Oh, now I don't know where my inks, my stamp sets are. I have to find those for a minute. Okay, so actually your paper pumpkin comes in pretty paper all the time. It's always wrapped up like a present. Um, but I just left that at the bottom. And then, of course, I got a smudge on my card. So I might just have to distress this one. So these were the cards that were included. This bookcase one, the dotty one, and then this window one. And there were three of each design. So there's nine cards. And then these are the pretty envelopes. Okay. And because it was, oh yeah, then there were these gems. Were they, they included? I don't know. I, I don't know that for sure. Because it's every single March, you're going to get a bonus stamp set in your kit, in your paper pumpkin, because it's the anniversary of paper pumpkin. So they showed um, this bonus card. So I made that. See? How cool is that? And then here are the finished cards. One. Oh yeah, see? And then I did this one slightly differently. See? And this one. And that's it. So, very nice. And now here are the stamp sets. And the reason I'm showing you this is because, of course, I used that card for this one. But I'm also telling you this because of the free shipping today even paper pumpkin subscriptions is free shipping so it's a great day to to get all your good things here is one of the stamps this was the bonus one with the big flower the big leaf happy spring happy easter um happy to call you friend and happy anniversary and then this is the stamp set that came with it to an incredible woman sending all our love mother's day you deserve the best here's to another year of growth and to a wonderful mother and a birthday. So it's really nice. I keep all my um, paper pumpkin stamps in an, in an album, in a Memories and More album. And that way I have all the sayings and everything. It's really wonderful. So you can subscribe to Paper Pumpkin and it comes once a month to your door. And uh, you can skip a month at any time. It's just a really nice product. If you don't want to buy your own stamp sets and and paper and ink and all that stuff you just want to have a simple stamping experience once a month and not collect a lot of stuff then paper pumpkin is wonderful it's portable you can take it with to the cottage you can take it with to a waiting room you can take it with to um, your parents when you're visiting so you can get your elderly parents to try something new you can save it to do with your kids on a rainy day there's all kinds of wonderful applications for paper pumpkin so i find it even myself i love paper pumpkin it's instant gratification. It's just like, I, I love to cook, but every once in a while, takeout's pretty fun too. 
And that's kind of what Paper Pumpkin is. It's takeout for a stamper. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed um, stamping through my stash. Let me show you again. This was the stamp set, Places in the Heart. It's available now. It's also available in the new annual catalog. And you could order stuff today and get free shipping as long as it's $100. If you're not out $100, then combine with a friend and check out the clearance rack in the last chance list because there's amazing deals to be had. And cardstock, um, what else? Cardstock, ink pads, refills, um, envelopes, and blends are all going up in the new catalog, as is the die cutting machine. It's going up by $5. So get those things today and you can save on your shipping. All right. I hope that you have a super day. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel. Alrighty. Take care. Bye.